going on everybody and welcome to today's video with me in front of the neighborhood Pirate Wardwicks and today we're going to be going over another four money making methods using combat hopefully these help you and enjoy the video okay and the first method we're going to be doing here is killing abyssal demons these require 85 slayer and the better your com your melee stats are uh, the better GP will make here per hour so for the gear that I bring is a helm of netus not now if you're on a slayer task do bring the slayer helm but i'm assuming you probably won't always have a slayer task of these uh, so a helm of netus not is the next best thing a fire cape a amulet of fury if you have the amulet of torture do bring that uh, i bring an abyssal whip you can bring a arc light uh, but i find that the arc light and the whip are basically the same uh, and the arc light does have charges so i like to while doing this uh, you can collect arc light charges uh, so the whip is, in my opinion, just as good here, so that's why I bring that. Uh, Bandos, chest plate, and tazets. The dragon offender, barrows, gloves, uh, dragon boots. If you have primordial boots, bring those. And then a berserk ring eye. And then for the inventory, I'll just bring two super combat potions, a dragon dagger, a herb sack, the exit talisman just to teleport here. I choose to do these abyssal demons as they have a chance of the totem pieces plus uh, the shards, so why not do them at the same time? Uh, also a rune pouch with uh, some nature runes and some fire runes in it. Then I bring about three lobsters just to clear uh, space um, while killing these uh, at the beginning, and then the rest is just monkfish. And then it is just simple as potioning up, and then just going to town on these abyssal demons. Uh, now, there I can't find anywhere that gives me like a definite amount of GP here per hour, but I find that I can uh, make get about one whip every five, uh, four hours here, and a whip is currently two mil, so just off the whip alone it's 500k, and then off the other drops I'd, I'd estimate another about 100k GP per hour, so it's probably around 600k GP per hour. Uh, the whip is only a 1 in 512 drop, and with gear like this you'll probably kill 512 in four hours, so if you're trying, so it's very likely that you'll get about 600k GP here per hour. Of course, you can have very good and very bad luck, um, and then, like, for example, get a whi get, like two whips in an hour and make four mil, or get no whips for and go dry for eight hours type thing. But that's RNG. That's with most with most things in this game. Okay, and the next method we're going to be doing here is killing the Zogers and Zogers. I don't exactly know how to say them, uh, but they'll just be located uh, right here, just uh, south of Castle Wars. Uh, so for this, um, you will be needing a brutal, a, 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 a the mithril brutal like arrow things, and then a comp ogre bow. Uh, you can use the normal uh, ogre bow, but the comp one is just a bit better. So these are the two things that you will need. So for the gear that I bring up, bring I just bring the void helm, Avis accumulator, a necklace of anguish, some uh, mithril brutal arrows. I, I guess they should they should be arrows. They're they're arrows. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, a comp ogre bow, a void elite top and uh, bo and bottoms. The void gloves. I bring a uh, zemedy hide boots as I do not have enough for ranger boots. So these are only like I believe it's one less range bonus. So why not? And then a archer's ring eye. Okay, and in the inventory, we'll just take one dose of ranging potion, a four dose of relic bomb, and then a ring of dueling, just to teleport to castle wars. So why we are killing these are for the ogre coffin keys, which are currently 1.7k each. Um, so basically, we will start right here. This is the uh, zogre area. You will have to have the zogre... Um, these are Flesh Eaters quest complete to do these, but that's a very basic quest. Most people will probably have them have it done. So we'll just climb over this crushed uh, barricade here. Uh, if you have Barrow's Gloves, then you do have this quest done, just in case you don't know if you have it done. And then nothing will be aggressive here, at least at my combat level. So we'll just run past here. And then we're going to run up here just to save spot, as these things can poison, hence why we have the Relic Bomb. Um, it's basically, the Relic Bomb is just for safety. Um, they can like disease you. So basically, we'll just drink the range potion we can drop the vial that's left and then we'll just save spot the uh, zogers here um, and then all we're looking for is just the zoger coffin keys and then every one uh, of every kill you will have 100 percent of getting a zoger key and the zoger bones you can uh bear the bones the bones are a couple hundred gp but no one actually buys them because they're like 22 
uh, prayer each. So you can bury them, but there is a chance that a aggressive uh, Zogo will spawn. So I'd probably recommend picking it up and then running back to the safe spot and then using it just to that thing won't really uh, hurt you. Okay, and for the next part of this guide, we're going to be killing demonic gorillas. This requires the completion of Monkey Madness 2. So for the gear we're going to be bringing, we're going to have a Helm of Nettis Knot, a Fire Cape, Amulet of Fury, and a Blessing. The Arc Light, now you can, if you'd like, not bring the Arc Light and the Dragon Defender and just bring an SGS, uh, but I find the Arc Light and uh, Defender, I like that more here. Uh, a Carol's Leather Top, the Bandas Tassets, Barrow's Gloves, Dragon Boots, the pair of Primordials, do bring those. And Berserk Ring Eye. And then in the inventory, we'll have a Archer's Ring, a Blowpipe, and the Avis Accumulator. So this will be our range setup, and then this will be our melee setup. Uh, just because the Demonic Gorilla basically prays what you're attacking with it after a certain amount of damage done with that style. It'll pray that style, and then you have to switch to the other style. And then in the inventory, we'll also have a Super Combat Potion 2, and a Range Potion 2. Three prayer potions. Now, uh, as you get more confident and more comfortable with this, you can bring more prayer potions. This is the amount I recommend bringing at the start. And then um, a royal seed pod that just gets you right here. And then the rest of the inventory full of sharks. Leave one space open just so that you can switch between your um, range and melee super easy. To actually get to demonic gorillas, we're going to just run a little bit north uh, left here of the uh, tree, th grand tree, and just down here and then you'll see this little like past like this little opening in the fence so we'll just click pass through opening and then we'll have this little fade out and then we'll just run north here down this little like fire chasm thing and then into this uh, tunnel right at the end here just take seconds to get there so enter cave entrance and now um, basically pick between range and ma um, mage uh, I'm just gonna go with mage that they're going to hit me with because you have to run past uh, these tormented gorillas so uh, they'll they can hit you with one of the others I don't just pray up one of the two of those and then just kind of run and then we'll just keep running down here oh sitting with range so we'll just pray over to range and now we are at demonic gorillas okay so now for, for killing demonic gorillas we will combat potion up and range potion up we'll see he's praying mage so let's go attack him so we'll just have piety on and we'll see the first hit here i don't know what he's gonna hit if you see that rock fall down there then uh, just run away and you won't take any damage from it that's basically how simple it is now you can see he's using a um attack where he's throwing a white boulder at me that means he is using range and then i'm just gonna switch back over to melee and then whenever he like kind of like stands up and starts beating his chest like that then he changes his prayer. Now he is using melee. All he's doing is just throwing his fists up to down, and then he is now just attacking with melee. So I'm just gonna pray melee. Boulder again. So I'm just gonna move out the way. Just keep attacking. Now he is back over to range, and I'm just gonna keep going like this. As I haven't lost any health yet, I'm not gonna spec. But at this probably, if you had lost some health by now, just use some specs with the blowpipe. And now back over to this. Now he's using melee again. Uh, it's not like a hard boss to learn it like I, w I would say boss it's not like a hard thing to learn at all uh, but it just takes a little bit of time of getting used to okay and then now you see this green bubble that it's shooting out uh, that means that it is attacking me with mage okay so I cannot give you a like set amount of GP per hour uh, killing these as it is a uh, luck dependent and how many you can kill how like confident you are at being able to kill them not banking stuff like that um but i can say that these are probably at least a decent five to six hundred kgp per hour uh they do have some notable drops which is the uh, zenite shard which is currently at uh 9.3 mil gp uh, they also have, uh, they also, you kill these to make the Ballista, but the Ballista parts are very cheap right now, about 20 to 30k each, so it's, those ones are kind of like a, a troll drop. Uh, and then there's also the Monkey Tail, but that is a very rare 1 in 5,000 drop, uh, that is 714 GP right now. But they also do have a lot of just like other minor drops that are really good, um, like Rune, um, for example, rune plate skirts they have they can drop uh, dragon scimitars uh, they can drop um, magic seeds and new seeds so they do have a lot of just good drops other than the like the big zenite drop that you're looking for but if you think about it if zenite is nine mil right now if you can get one of those what is it every one every 18 hours and you're making 500 kgp uh, per hour just off of that alone so these are a very 
very good money making method right now. They are a lot better on Slayer Task, which is a uh, black demon task to kill these. So they are a lot better on Slayer Task if you do have a black demon Slayer Task. Uh, it does take a while, but I would recommend killing the demonic gorillas for that. And the last method we're going to be doing here is killing uh, blue dragons. This is currently about 400,000 GP per hour, and it doesn't have the highest of level requirements either. Uh, so what is very highly recommended is uh, 70 agility, so that you can use the uh, pipe shortcut, but I'll show you that when we get there. And at least um, 37 rain, uh, mage, so that you can teleport to uh, Falador here. And uh, high melee is very recommended. The higher your melee, the more you're going to get per hour kill-wise. So for the gear I bring here is a Helm of Nettis Knot, Fire Cape, Amulet of Fury, uh, any ancient, any blessing, I bring the Ancient Blessing, uh, Abyssal Whip, Bandos, Chest Plate, and bot uh, bot Top and Bottom. Uh, you don't have to bring Bandos, I just use this as it's the, as it like, it's best for killing it, more kills per hour, more money. Uh, but you can downgrade this gear a lot as all we're killing is Blue Dragons, these you don't need the highest gear for. Um, so I'm bringing Anti-Dragon Shield. Uh, if you have a DFS, do use that. I just do not have one, so that's why I'm bringing the Anti-Dragon Shield. Barrels Gloves, Dragon Boots. If you have Primordials, do bring those. And a Berserkering Eye. And then in my inventory, I have one dose of Super Attack and one dose of Super Strength. And one dose of uh, Extended Anti-Fire, as the Extended Anti-Fire is actually cheaper than the normal Anti-Fire. I have a Ring of Dueling, and then I have a Rune Pouch with Law Runes. Air runes and water runes. This is to teleport to Falador. What we're going to want to do is run into this uh, dungeon right here. So we'll just, you know, if you teleport, you'll teleport right here. You'll just have to run down past this agility shortcut here and then just run over and down into this dungeon here. And that is where I will keep, uh, that is where I will resume recording. You have come down into the dungeon here. We're just going to want to use this uh, obstacle pipe. Uh, right here, this will require 70 agility. Uh, so this is why the 70 agility is recommended, because if not, you'd have to run all the way around, have to have a dusty key. It is probably not worth doing this method. So you're just gonna want to um, see these blue dragons right here. Just for some reason, running to run past them, and you'll just potion up, so attack and strength, and your anti fire, and then just pray melee. Um, now with the higher prayer that you have, um, the like. You should be able to, with high prayer, easily be able to do these. Uh, I have about 77 prayer, but I normally don't even go through half of my prayer. Uh, so these are very easy to do, um, very AFK. With a higher combat level, the babies also will not attack you, so that is also fairly nice. And basically, we're just here for the blue dragon hide and the uh, dragon bones. So all you're going to do is you're going to go and fill up your inventory. If anything, if you get like a random weed or anything like that that's more expensive than either the blue dragon hide or the dragon bones, then of course keep that. But basically we'll just fill up the inventory, use the dueling ring, rub and teleport to clan wars, go bank the stuff, recharge our prayer there, and then teleport back to Falador, run back here, and just keep doing this method. It is very easy to do, doesn't need too high of like a stat requirement at all. Uh, and it is about 400k GP per hour, so it is not a bad method at all. And thanks you all for watching the video, and I hope it helps.